Barbara. You shouldn't have followed me. Listen, please, I'm not going to let you go. Barbara, don't ever run away from me again. I'll never hurt you again. Ever. As the world turns. Just seems like you're so far away, honey. I'm sorry. We haven't gotten to talk at all about your plans, about what you want to do now. <sighs> well, I... I haven't really thought about it. Do you think you might like to go back to school? Well, the semester's already started. Well, you could go back in the fall, or even take courses in the summer. Maybe I will. I think you should decide. Well, I, I can't now, Mom. Maybe you've just got to make yourself think about these things. You can't just wait for those bad feelings to go away. You've got to get on with your life. I know you're right. It just seems as if you're living with the memories. And the more that you shut the world out, the more you seem to turn to them. That's true. If you do want to go back to school in the fall, then you should apply now. Mom, I'll think about it. There's still some time, okay? I, I just have to work this all out. There is something that I wanted to talk to you and Dad about, though. What? Well, I know Dad's been really busy working on the, the land. I was wondering if I could help him with that, you know, learn about the business. Of course. Well, you own some of the land outright. It's That's a wonderful idea for you to... Learn about it. Well, maybe after a while, it'll really be some kind of help to him. And it'll keep me busy, and I know you're right. That's exactly what I need now. Your father is going to be very pleased. Do you know we have a meeting today with Brad Hollister? Why don't you join us? What kind of meeting? Well, he's already formed a mining company, and since his property adjoins ours, We've got a lot of common problems, and he's been very helpful to your father. Oh. You haven't met him? No. Well, he's a very knowledgeable man, and you might find it very interesting to hear what he has to say. Well, all right. Why not? You're very hard to find. I didn't think you could. Well, I've always prided myself on being resourceful. You know that. How'd you know I was on the bus? Well, I found out where you were going through your friend, Mrs. Coleman. And when I learned you'd missed the plane, I had the bus schedules checked. Then I hired a helicopter to catch up with you. When I got on the bus last night, you were sleeping. 
I spent most of the night just watching you and remembering. I remember that day on the beach. Well, you don't want to talk about it. No. Why? I just don't. I've not been able to forget you. Look, I know it was hard for you after I left, and I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. I never meant for you to be hurt. I know. It wasn't your fault. You told me how it had to be from the beginning. Barbara, after the last time we saw each other, I didn't know where you'd moved, where you were living. I didn't know how to find you until I saw your picture in the paper with the Stewart girl. I've come all the way from Stockholm to see you. I'm all right, James. I have a happy life now. Do you? Yes. I have good friends in Oakdale, people I care about, work I like. Then why did you move from New York? Did you marry? No. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Well, I can tell that seeing me has brought up some very unpleasant feelings. Yes. Yes, that's right. You know something from the moment I first learned where you were, all I could do was think about seeing you again. And I realized that well, maybe perhaps I didn't have the right. But I wanted to see you so much. You wanted to see me? Yes. I think you'd better go. Well, I think that's going to be a little difficult with the bus moving. I'll see how long it is to the next stop. It'll only be a moment. be some time yet. Barbara. What do you want? Why did you come here? Barbara, don't hate me. You I... must have known how much you hurt me. I had no choice. You said that you loved me. We were happy together. You left the...
How about you crying? What, what, what were you gonna say? Would you like to have lunch with me? Oh, Fred, I can't. Oh, why not? Oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, you do too much studying. No, I don't do enough. Well, listen, you have to have lunch. Oh, I was just going to grab a sandwich here. That's a grubby existence for a little lady who owns a silver fortune. Listen, why don't I come over to your place and I'll bring a little something for both of us to eat. I won't stay too long. We'll have a little something to eat and I'll be on my way. Okay. Good, good. Listen, I'll be there around noon. How's that sound? Fine. Okay. Uh, how's that horseshoe working out, by the way? Oh, it's wonderful. I haven't had a bit of bad luck since you gave it to me. You'll have to tell me about it. I'll see you later. Brad, excuse me. If you uh, sign these, I can get them off in the 10 o'clock mail. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. How did you get them done so fast? I came in early. I thought the sooner we get it to Peterson, the better. Good, good. Listen, could you uh, draft another letter like this and send it off to the Forsen brothers, but put in the new figures? Well, sure I can. Sure. Oh, Don, I didn't even know you were there. Come on in. Hello, Brad. Hello, Joyce. Oh, Don, hello. I got everything you needed out of the files, including the bids. Good. I'll get them for you. Thank you. So, Don, how's it going with the 109 HQ forms, or whatever you call them? <laughs> well, we've got the state forms filled out, and we can send them in the day, but I think we should go over them first together so that you have some idea of what you're signing. Good. I really appreciate the fine job you're doing on this. Well, the first time a company files these, it's a little complicated. Next year, it'll be almost routine. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've uh, got some bids here I want you to take a look at. And um, I talked to Jay Stallings yesterday. Oh, about what? About putting the road in out to the mine site. Why Stallings? Well, because I, I saw his work over at the shopping center, and he's damn eager to do the job, I can tell you that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he is. But if I were you, I'd give this a great deal of thought before I made a deal with him. Well, Don, I know, he's, I know he's been in some trouble, but I talked to him and I told him that if he was going to do any work for me, then I was going to audit his books. Now, and wait a minute. That's not going to... Uh, now, let me finish, Don. Now, I told him that if he was going to work for me, that I would have my account audit his books and I'd have my own inspector to look at the work. Well, Brad, you can audit and you can inspect all you want, but it's not as good as doing business with a reputable construction firm. Now, Stallings is, is very smart, but he's just a little too smart for his own good. You see, he has a tendency to cut corners, big corners. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Donald, it's all here, except McCormick's. Oh, I've got that here somewhere. Thank you. Oh, uh, John Heading is outside. What does he want? He's trying to reach Clint. What do you want me to tell him? <sighs> I, I better talk to him. Okay. Will you excuse me? Please? Sure. Well, uh, these look very good. Uh, can I take them with me? Sure you can. We have copies, you know. Joyce, I'm sorry about things that happened at Teddy's birthday party. So am I. Anyway, I hope he had a happy birthday party. I think he did. I wish it weren't so difficult. You know, all I want is for Teddy to be happy with you and Mary. But I also want him to know that I love him and I care for him. That's all I want. What are you reading, honey? Oh, one of Dad's books on mining. I found it in his office. Find it interesting? Yeah, the parts that I can understand. You know, there's a chapter in here about the Colorado mines. It's incredible how many people went out there looking for gold and silver. Where is it? Hmm. I never thought that there was anything more to the land around here than good farmland myself. There's a letter for you. Oh. Meyer and Sanderson? I think it's a law firm. Why would they be writing me? Oh, probably. Something to do with your land. Annie's been getting some offers. Your father will advise you. You 
Is something wrong? I've been named in Ian's will. Oh. They're reading it on Friday and they want me to be there. Well, I never expected. Neither did I. Honey, there's no reason for you to be upset about it. You knew that Ian thought very highly of you, and it's not unusual for a man like him to remember people he's worked with. And he has no family, no children. Mom, I don't know what I should do. Dee, I, I know that you cared for him. No, Ma, you don't, you just don't understand. What don't I understand? I don't want anything else from him. I, I just don't deserve it. I, I have a headache. I'm going to take a walk. Want some company? No, thank you. Honey, they say it might rain out there. I'll be back soon, okay? I know what Joyce is capable of doing. I know what she has done and what she could do. Look, Donald, if I were in Mary's place, I would have done exactly the same thing. And uh, I think that you ought to support her. I realize it's her decision. Well, of course, and she just realizes that, uh, well, that Joyce is a bad influence. Look, I don't think you realize how attached Teddy is to Joyce. Well, that's only because Joyce involved him. Well, I don't know how he's going to feel now. Mary has told him some things. Oh, really? Some things like what? Well, she told him that Joyce tried to hurt some people, deliberately. That's the truth, isn't it? But I don't know that it's necessary to tell him. I mean, a child that age... Look, Mary did not force this issue. Joyce did. But Joyce had already agreed that she wouldn't see Teddy anymore. Come on. You're not going to believe Joyce, are you? Donald Hughes, if you believe Joyce, then you're the one that's... You ought to see a psychiatrist. You really should. Well, I know where you stand now. Well, of course, I know Mary would never... She has never said anything to Teddy against Joyce. But now she's had to tell him the truth, only because she knows what's best for him. She wants him to grow away from Joyce. She has to do that. I just hope it isn't a mistake, for Teddy's sake. Well, I'm sure it isn't. Mary knows what she's doing. She is trying to protect him. Do you want to know something? You're not thinking about Teddy, are you? No, I know. You're thinking about Joyce. No, oh, that spider. She's got you all tied up in her web. Boy, when you bring dessert, you really bring dessert. Well, I hope you like apple pie. Oh, who doesn't? I hope you had more to eat today than just this. Of course I did, Doctor. Thanks, Brad. Sure. So, uh, how's it going? What? All these famous medical studies. Oh, it's not bad. Neither is this. Mm. You know, I really feel sorry for you. That's why I came over. Oh? Well, you know, with all this studying, all this hard work. Well, I should feel sorry for you, too. I mean, you're working like a dog, building up your mining empire. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. I mean, at least I don't have to sit down and concentrate on these heavy books hour after hour. You make it sound horrible. Well? It's not. No? No. As a matter of fact, it's fascinating. I, I was reading about immunology this morning. And it really is incredible, the strength of the body's defenses. You like that, huh? The body's defenses? What do you do when they let down? <clears throat> now, I want to know all there is to know about this and all the other branches of medicine. I could just devour these books. This, too. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll have another piece. How about you? You finished that already? Yep, yeah, and I am just about to devour another one. Oh, I like to savor every bite. 
Mm-hmm. So, what branch of medicine are you going to go into? Oh, internal medicine, uh, pediatrics. Mm. You're not going to do research like your dad? No, I like research, but I, I want to practice. I like being around people. You should. You're very beautiful, you know that? Luscious. So what do you say? Want some more? I don't know. Luscious. I don't know if you and I have the same appetite. Bet you could develop one if you tried. You know, you can't always say no to your appetite. Don't you agree? You can't always say yes, either. But when the temptation comes along, I figure... Why not indulge? It is hard to resist. Oh, yes, it is hard. Very hard. Yes, he's right here. Hold on. It's your secretary. Maya. It's good you left word where to find you. Hello, Joyce. What's the problem? I see, I see. Well, listen, I'll take care of that when I get back to the office, okay? Listen, Joyce. Something very important has just come up, and I don't think I'm going to be back as soon as I thought. All right. Bye bye. Oh, I hate to leave. I hate for you to. Do you have to? Well, I've got this meeting with your parents. That's right. You sure you can't come? Yeah, I can. Well, it's your land too. You. I know, it would be interesting, but I really have to stay here and get to work. I'm going to leave all of the uh, complexities of the mining business to you and my dad. You know, your dad's doing a very good job of looking out after your family's interests. And you're helping him out of the kindness of your heart. Sure. What else is in it for me? It's very generous of you. Hey, look, I like your dad, and I am very grateful to him. What for? For having such a beautiful daughter. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I really did interrupt your studies, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> Will you forgive me? Mm-hmm. You're really good for me, you know? I think we're both good for each other. I sort of doubted that in the beginning. Yeah, I know. Well, we had such a, a happy beginning. We delivered the twins, and then you rescued me when I fell off my horse, and everything sort of went downhill from there. Oh, not for me. <laughs> Brad, there's something I have to know. OK. Did you know the silver was there when you bought the Hughes land? <laughs> hey, I already told you. Don't you believe me? Brad. I want you to look at me now and tell me again. I did not know about the silver, Annie. I bought the land for other reasons. I just plain got lucky. OK. I understand. Listen, I, I hate to say it, but I, I got to go. OK. OK. Uh. Maybe I can get back later on to see you? Sure. Where are you going to be? Right here. Studying? Well, studying. OK, well, uh, I will definitely try to get back later on. <laughs>
very bitter. And I have reason to be? Well, I thought it may be glad to see me that you still... still had feelings for me. No. No. I was very young. Didn't understand a man like you. I couldn't. Our lives were so different. I thought you felt the same way I did. I cared for you very much. For a while. Barbara, my feelings haven't changed. And why do you think I'm here now? I don't know. You know, you were right when you said our lives were very different. And I know it's very difficult for you to understand why I acted the way I did. It's difficult for you to forgive. I mean, you see it as though there we were, happy together. And then all of a sudden I left you. That's what happened. Barbara, I was raised with one thought, responsibility to my family. First, always, responsibility to my family. I never expected that one could marry for love. And I made a decision in the interest of my family. You do not understand. I understand how foolish it was for me to care for you. Foolish? Yes. I should have known. I saw the way Charles looked at me. He always disapproved. Charles was very involved with the family. That's all he thought about. Is he with you now? You mean here, here on the bus? Yes. It seemed there was always a member of your entourage around. Charles is no longer with the family. He now lives in Stockholm. But I do have another aide, who's much younger and less stern. Perhaps you might like him better than you like Charles. It hardly matters. Other things would not be so difficult for us now. How's your wife, Inga? Inga. Did uh, he say we're getting into Atlanta in uh, 20 minutes? Um, yes, yes, I think that's what he said. Uh, thanks. Barbara, I know you plan to go to Sarasota, but we'll be getting off in Atlanta. That phone call that I got this morning, 
My mother's become very ill. And I have to go back to Sweden. I have to go back tomorrow. I'm sorry, Barbara. I'm going to miss you so much. When are you coming back to the States? I don't know how to... I don't know how to ask you to accept something that... that I'm not able to accept myself. Why couldn't I have met you first? Couldn't I have known you before my family made arrangements for my marriage to Inga? What are you trying to say, James? The plans for my wedding have been set. Because my mother is not going to live The family is insisting that we go ahead with the wedding immediately so, so that she will be able to attend. to assume that your lack of response means we'll be getting off in Atlanta. And we'll take the helicopter back to Oakdale. Okay, honey. If you want my advice... Uh, look, Brad Hollister is going to make quite a bit of money once these uh, silver mines get operating and all. Mm. Yeah, that's what Jay says. But, well, I know a lot of people are, are going to want to uh, join in on the whole thing, but I just mm -hmm. had this, uh, well, I, I, I just sort of, it's hard for me to trust Brad's honesty at this point. It, it's hard for me to say, but anyway, I, I just think it'd be better if Jay didn't get involved with, with Brad. Lisa, that's exactly how I feel. Besides, look, Brad is not the only person in town who's uh, got uh, work available for people. I mean, right now it may seem that way, but it's mm -hmm. not true. Don't you think, don't you think that Mr. Hollister would be pretty careful not to make any mistakes? I mean, it is a new company, and he's got an awful lot at stake, doesn't he? Hmm. It's hard to say what to expect from Mr. Hollister. So I know Jay doesn't want any more trouble. I mean, all the problems he's had over that shopping center, they're enough. He's not having any more problems, is he? Oh, no, no. Uh, well, he still kind of resents Don Yu's supervising the work so closely, but... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it would be good for Jay. I mean, maybe it's just what he needs to... while well, he gets back on his feet again. 
I just don't know if Hollister would be a good influence on him or not. Yeah, I don't know either. Now, how do I tell that to Jay? about Inga. Yes. She died last year. Oh, James, I... It was an accident. It was... I'm sorry. I thought... Well, I read that she was to attend the peace conference in Rome with you. Well, the newspapers made a mistake. I'm sorry. You didn't know? No. Do you have children? No. No, no, no children. Did you love her? It was an arranged marriage. We cared for each other. Mr. Stanley. No. We must get back to Johansson. We can make the uh, call from the station. The helicopter can come to the airport and we... Fine, fine. Arrange it. Okay. Good. I'll be right out. That's good. Thank you. Barbara, will you come with me? No. Why? James, nothing you have said has changed what happened between us or what happened to me after you left. Please go. Barbara. I'm staying. I'm not going to change my mind. I'm sorry, but you cannot have this child. You must get an abortion. That is what James wants. Dry clothes before you catch a cold. Yeah, I guess I should. I'll take this. One. Thanks, Mom. Oh, oh my goodness, David. Oh, hello. Am I too early? Oh, not at all, Mr. Hollister. Come on in. Ooh, it's getting nasty out there. Yes. Oh. David will be home, I'm sure, in just a few minutes. He had a meeting of his research committee over at the hospital. Really? I don't know how he does it. I mean, setting up the mining operation and the research. It's hard enough for me just to handle one of them. Well, I'm, I have a feeling you're going into this on a much larger scale than we are. Well, I don't know why. There's as much silver on your land as there is on mine. Well, maybe, but you seem to be moving ahead very quickly. Yeah, sometimes I can't believe it. It's just happening so fast. Well been a big help to David that you've shared some of your new expertise with him. I don't think he would have dared to start his own mining company without your example. Well, maybe it'll give, it, give him some confidence, you know. If a, if a former assistant geology professor can run a mining operation, I'm sure that he can. Now, that is hardly what I meant. I meant that he appreciates your help. Well, I am happy to help, Mrs. Stewart. Ellen. Ellen. Won't you sit down now? Well, Ellen, actually, I, I hope I'm not imposing, but I do have a few calls that I ought to make. Would that be all right? Oh, of course. Why don't you use the phone right in here? I'll be in the kitchen, okay? Well, that's, that's not necessary. Well, I've got a few things to take care of anyway. Just make yourself at home. All right, thank you. Mom, I'd like to take a nice warm bath before the meeting. I think it'll warm me up. Do you think there's time? Sure. 
go ahead, take a bath. I'm all for it. Join us again tomorrow for As the World Turns.